Hey Leo, welcome to another WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Information about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, you can check out the description box below. Or you can follow me in Instagram with the same um, name or my website. So all the links will be down below. To all my new viewers, welcome. Leo, let's talk about you. So this will be your general reading. General, you know what that means. And I'll be picking up energies of um, two parties. So it could be you and the person that you're dealing with. But you pick your side, all right? General reading, you know what that means. All right, Leo, let's talk about you. What do we have for Leo in love? Give us the messages, please. Messages, please. This will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Two of Cups. Wow. Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> All right. Not bad. Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. Wow, are you dealing with an Earth sign? Yeah. Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Capricorn Virgo, possibly. Um, Seven of Cups. Mm. Okay. Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands. The show must go on, huh? Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. What do we have here? The King of Wands. All right. But I see that um, your, your energy is pretty strong here as well. So this would likely resonate with more Leos they have on, you know, if you're encouraged to click on this reading. Um, but primarily Leo, I feel that this is a rather focused uh, sort of partnership. Yeah, this is um, a partnership that you are pretty much interested to work on. Pretty much interested or attracted to you are being magnetized into this partnership. Not just for today, not just for today, but I feel that it's been, um, you've known this person for quite a while. That's what I see. And um, perhaps somebody that you may have had a, a relationship, any sort of relationship in the past, it could be friendship or a, um, you could be linked uh, romantically in the past as well. Um, But possibly things just did not, um, you know, it, it failed to launch in the past or something. But I don't see a lot of, um, po possibly it just naturally faded away in the past. I don't see that, um, you know, arguments or abuse or whatever. I'm not seeing that here. It's pretty, um, the energy that I'm getting here is a lot more light, at least during this time frame. But you are, you and your person seems to be pretty focused on this partnership right now. Where in fact both of you are putting in effort in, in the way that um, you, could, you could look at it as you're both kind of building a foundation together without you both talking about the partnership. Yeah? So you may not have um, talked about being together or being committed. It's, it's more about, there is that give and take in this connection because it feels like that's um, the working method that you can both have right now, yeah? But there's not much um, expression of how you feel or you miss one another or are you seeing other people or things like that. No, it's, it's more about, I could relate this to a feeling of, you know, just getting to know a new person. So for some of you, this could definitely be a new person 
that you are meeting because it feels like that it, there's not much um, chemistry in terms of you know those sexual um, attraction towards one another it's not much of that but I feel that you both found each other you know two souls finding one another and it feels like during this week there is that element for both of you to be able to work together whether it be in some endeavors and possibly even in, in going to the grocery store together yeah but there's no entanglements no commitments no um, expectations towards one another but there seem to be that symbiotic relationship for both of you you know that if the other person sees that you are heavily loaded with your stuff they will just automatically carry your stuff so th th that sort of energy there seem to be that underlying compassion care kindness towards one another where in fact helping you both to build a partnership but you're not actually thinking about it you're actually not talking about it you know what i mean but for you leo you may not talk to this person but you definitely have an eye for them this could likely be you showing up for this person because of your intention and your intention i see here is more about you um participating in this person's life slowly but surely you're not rushing things it feels like you're also good with um, whatever you have right now whatever freedom you have right now for some of you you could plainly be you know um, or exactly be a, a bachelor or a single person where you're pretty comfortable with that yeah given the current events it feels like you're good with that you don't have much commitments but if if you feel like you want to see this person you would show up for them mm -hmm. so likely so this could be a new person yeah this could be a new you could be dating new people or getting to know new people but for those of you with a person in mind that you already know that's what i see here someone here is taking it slow someone is taking it slow mm -hmm. which is good for the person that you're dealing with because as of the moment um this is someone who has a lot of things going on in their life it feels like um like i said you could be dealing with an earthy kind of energy somebody who is more focused on their stability on building their fortune building their um money retirement whatever this is or um, somebody who would put effort into things that are of value to them and as of this moment it feels like this person is beginning to see more opportunities in their creative uh, side yeah you could yeah like I said you could be dealing with a Virgo strongly I'm getting here but someone with an earthy attitude earthy demeanor mm-hmm but at the same time, you were not expecting that this person would have that creative side as well. And also, this person is beginning to realize that in them. So, as you are trying to show up for this person, slowly but surely, your person is also walking in their path towards self-realization, self-actualization. They're beginning to get to know themselves more. Yeah? There could be some catalyst or some something that has happened in this connection in the past that has some um, uh, real dispersion towards that direction. I see that um, if there has been bitterness or disappointments um, or um, drama between the two of you in the past, um, that might still be in your person's mind. And they can see that you may not be investing with them emotionally right now. Mm -hmm. And they're hoping that you would communicate more though. <laughs> this is someone who may just be focusing in, in their own life right now, but they are hoping that you would communicate more. That you would communicate more. But you know, there's a, there's a kicker here. You have the King of Wands. And here we have the Queen of Wands. Someone here is um, already interested. And I feel that that is you, Leo. 
someone here i mean you are still interested in this connection but it feels in this partnership basically and that's why you are showing up for this person slowly but surely you're not rushing things primarily because you may have wronged this person in the past and you're just easing your way back in but i do see success in the future for this connection it's more about um the more you show consistency the more leo this is for you a message for you the more you show consistency the more you show that you know there is interest here there is um yeah, possibly you are ready for the commitment that you were not ready in the past the more you show that you are more emotionally stable even financially stable and then the person would realize that because deep inside this is someone who who is um, who has that heart for you somebody who is pretty kind caring towards you there's still that element in them you know that um, your person can see that you can be a partner for them but there could be some drama in the past that has failed this connection to launch yeah. and I see that um, the more consistency is being put here I see success I see that there is a possibility for both of you to actually um, be able to see eye to eye once again yeah in the business sense in the romantic sense in the practical sense yeah to be each other's um, two of cups and both of you will be um, more uh, giving into the connection putting effort into this connection actually this right here is a moving energy towards someone who is easing back into someone's life and i feel that that is you leo because you want this connection and you know what here we have the sun so this a lot um, and this is your card yeah it may have taken a lot of time to get into this space but i believe that you are getting there yeah the happiest card of the tarot a lot of reason to be more positive with the outcome and again the word here is consistency somebody has to show consistency yeah and um, balance of energy balance of give and take and as well as communication that will bring you that two of cups bring you back together yeah and I feel that that's gonna be a lovely getting back together For those of you who could be um, talking or, or meeting a new person, the same thing goes with it. Communication. If you feel like this is the person that you want to pursue, then you, you got to show consistency. Because only then you can get the attention, the full attention of this person. Yeah. And both of you can be that suited pair, the king and queen of uh, wands. And the six of wands, success. Yeah, giving each other the attention that one that each one deserves basically all right let's get you um, additional messages here before we close off the reading more message for Leo confused attraction let go karmic ties okay we mentioned that earlier but um I wasn't really picking up on that it could be that um, you know you were together way back and then now you are just starting could be more than one or two years and then now you are just starting to reconnect and, and work things out nostalgia hope perfect match and that is the two of cups okay it could also be <laughs> new here and yes here. It could also be that um, this karmic ties I am getting is someone here may have had some things that they have to deal with uh, family matters yeah, from their parents that they need to address and may have been a factor in, in getting this connection to launch in the past. Yeah, but there's a lot of hope here. Yeah. You may have let go, you know, you let go of this person in the past, despite all the attraction, despite you, you know, missing them. And despite all the good memories that you have, you may have decided to let go and gone cold with them. 
Yeah, primarily because of that. Primarily, primarily because the person wasn't able to focus on you. It could be you or it could be them. Either way, yeah, you, you choose your side. But this time, I feel it's a yes now. Yes for a happy outcome. Yes to happiness. Yeah, primarily because there's hope and um, hope to get this per perfect match to launch this time around. Leo, I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope this gives you insights. Okay? Let me know. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, let me know in the comments section if this resonates. If it doesn't, you can check out your other placements and check out the other readings. You can check out the Aries and... Um, um, Sagittarius reading I did that's your sister sign so that could also um, give you more insights yeah other placements you can check out the other readings I have I do have weeklies and um, monthlies in my channel all right bye now